Hi friends, Jim here, and I am back in my shop. And I was gonna do a little shop update, show you one of the finished pipes, what I'm working on now, and then uh, talk about a broken pipe. So, I'll get to it here real quick. First of all, I'm smoking my Strombach Meerschaum. In it, I'm smoking some Epiphany. Drinking some water, staying hydrated, trying to keep cool. Still hot in California, and it's going to be hot for the next probably two or three months. So, there's my weather forecast. So, big reveal. This is a commission pipe, and it is a freehand sitter. It's got the peacock brindle stem. So it's got uh, purple, green, it's a black stem with purple and green and a little bit of blue running through it. So I don't know if you can catch all that on there, but it's got some pretty, pretty colors there. So, but it is a freehand sitter. So it sits on its own. This block is an Algerian block. The customer requested that special. He has one of my pipes already. It's a smooth sitter and it's a Italian block. And he's an older gentleman. He smokes quite fast and he says he doesn't plan on changing. So his pipes tend to heat up. So he wanted to do something a little different, but he wanted another sitter. So I went ahead and made a sitter, left the plateau on the top and on the end of the shank. And I left a little more wood on this. I changed the wood up to an Algerian block. It was a grade one. It has some beautiful grain through it. I don't know if you can see the understain. It's two-toned in the light. You can see it a lot better, but it's got some really pretty grain underneath and some really nice ring grain on it. And it carries it all the way around. So, and it does sit. So, just to deliver this pipe to the gentleman, I believe tomorrow or Thursday. So that was a fun pipe. I really liked that one. Matter of fact, I liked it so much I wanted to keep this one. So, that's the one I just finished. And the one I'm working on right now is also a sitter. This one's going to be a brandy sitter. A little wider in the front. I'm doing contrast staining on it right now. And I'm layering the stain. So... It's going to have a faux bone shank cap that's on there, oval shank, and it also sits on the shank itself. So, <clears throat> I've already sanded it through uh, 1200. So, this one's getting really close to being done. I just need to cut a stem for it. So, that's it for shop update. I'm working on that one. Uh, some of my other pipes uh, customers are going to be moving up. Uh, Some of the customers asked me to move back. Uh, so I'm going to flip-flop some of the customers around. So anyway, staying busy here. Thought I'd take a little break and shoot a video. I haven't done one in the middle of the week for a while. Been too damn hot to get out here <clears throat> during the week. So moving on. Broken pipe. Brother was up last weekend and I made a pipe for him my first year and gave it to him for his birthday. He loves the pipe, it's a Rhodesian. And he was sitting at the table with me. And he says, Let's go out and have a bowl. And of course, you know, a friggin' 95, I wasn't really looking forward to it. And I was like, Okay, okay. And he says, Well, let me clean it out real quick. So I handed him a tool. And he says, Oh, don't worry about it. I got it. And he picked it up and he goes, Bam! And when he went to hit his hand right before I could say anything, he hit it, and I was like, nah! And about that time, I watched the stumel go flying off onto the table. And he's standing there holding a stem. I was just like, oh, what, what, nah! Yeah, too late. Broke the tenon. Now this, there's a Delrin tenon that was glued in. And it snapped off. So... I can either try and drill it out and glue another one in, which probably isn't going to work too well, or what I think I'm just going to do is make them a new stem for the pipe. So, 
I'll have to get that going for him here pretty quick. Just wanted to let you know if you do break it off and you have the tenon stuck inside the mortise, simple trick grab a screw, start screwing it in, get a good, you know, half to three quarters turn on it. Then you can take some uh, pliers, channel locks, whatever you got handy, grab the screw itself, and just keep turning clockwise. As you turn clockwise and pull it back, you just pull it right on out. No problem, no harm, no foul. So that's a little trick. Use a screw to remove that. And then keep the tenon and the stem and the, the stummel together and send it to a repair person and they can hopefully put the stem back on it and not have to cut you a new one. So. I'm not a big fan of using a knocker. I've seen it too many times with guys. I've seen a, a buddy of mine lift his foot up, bang his pipe on his heel of his shoe, knock the tobacco out when we were outside. Broke the tenon. I saw another buddy of mine, we were standing there, we were getting ready to go in the house, and he cleaned his pipe out and banged it against his tire. Broke the tenon. And I tell people, you know, if you have to hit the pipe and knock stuff out of it, grab the shank, not the stem. Grab the shank and gently hit it. Just tap it. If you have to wrap it, you're hitting it too hard. So that's why they make tools. Use a nail, use a, a check tool, whatever you got to use to loosen the tobacco up inside there. Dump it out and gently tap it if you have to. And hold on to the shank. Don't hold on to the stem. My brother grabbed it, picked it up by the stem, was holding on to the stem, not the shank. Hit it, snapped it right off. So I'll get off my soapbox. Just a little something I want to remind everybody, you know, hold the shank. I've seen another guy do the same thing, holding the shank and broke the shank. So I'm not really a big fan of using a knocker. Once you get your tobacco all loosened up and it's mostly ash, if you want to just tap it, tap it gently against that knocker, fine. But don't, don't hit it hard. So, anyway, I'll move on. Just wanted to check in real quick, shoot a quick video. I'll try to keep this one under 10 minutes here. Say hi. So, anyway, be well, stay smoky, have a good week. Be safe, guys and gals. Bye.